Hi, I'm Jacob Beals, and this is my show. And guess what? Stranger Things Season 2 releases in almost just a week. I couldn't be more stoked. That didn't sound exciting enough. And I couldn't be more stoked! Now that sounded a little too exciting. And I couldn't be more stoked! I like that one. It's kind of in the middle. Now since last year, Netflix has done a pretty good job of pacing the Stranger Things like advertising and marketing. In February, around the Super Bowl, we got our first like teaser trailer and it was really short but it was really good it just gave a few scenes away but it, it didn't really like say much it was just like oh here's this here's this here's this and then it was over it was like 30 seconds I think but it was a really nice little look into what they were doing for season two then later on this summer we got our first full-length trailer and it was amazing it was backed up by Michael Jackson's thriller and it was so cool I loved it and I actually made videos on both of those so those that's my plug for more videos if you want to binge watch the Jacob Beals show, but I, I don't know why you'd want to do that. If I tell you, I'll probably be binge watching the Stranger Things season two when it comes out. I, I, I'm pretty pumped. And if it's anything like the first season was, I, I know I'm gonna like have a tough time getting away from Netflix. And then just the other day, last week actually, Stranger Things released uh, a second trailer, and this really surprised me that they released another trailer before the actual show came out, and so close to like time of release. Now, like last Thursday, I believe they actually released this little clip teasing the trailer. You know, all movies and like TV shows do that anymore. They're like, oh, here's a trailer for the trailer, which is kind of weird. It's like hyping for the hype. Anyways, this trailer was like a countdown and it was counting down. I mean, it was, it might have been counting up, I forget, but it was counting to 13 or down from 13. I believe it was up to 13 because last Friday, if you didn't know, was Friday the 13th, which I'm sure you did because if you're anything like me, you had tons of memes on your like social media feeds that couldn't get you away from Friday the 13th. And then they released the trailer on Friday the 13th, which I think makes sense, you know. Stranger Things gets kind of creepy and the kids have bad luck. I mean, especially if there's monsters visiting them for two years in a row. And presumably if there's more seasons in the future, they're gonna have even more monsters visiting them. I mean, I didn't have that kind of childhood. So these, these kids kind of got stuck with something not so good. Now let me tell you, this second trailer is a lot darker than the previous ones we've gotten. Maybe the first teaser was kind of dark, but I thought the second one was a little more fun. Like, you know, the one we got in summer. And this one I felt was like totally dark. And I really still think even after this latest trailer, the marketing team over at Netflix is doing a really good job of not revealing too much about what's going to happen in Stranger Things season two. We know a few things that are going to happen. We know a, a, probably a few of the main storylines, but we still don't know exactly what's going to happen. We don't know the meat of what's going to happen. And I really like that about these trailers. They explore a little bit, like for example, it gets into what's going to happen with Will in the upcoming season and it looks like it's going to be pretty dark but it doesn't like you know give anything really big away and i really think netflix is holding some surprises from us and i i at least fingers crossed that's what's happening i think it is i didn't cross my fingers when i said that so i hope that uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't count but i i meant to so I, I, that counts. If I were the person who handled all the fingers cross wishes, I'd say that's okay. But also in this trailer, we got more of Eleven. We got more of Sheriff Hopper. Two people that I think we saw a lot of in the previous stuff. I, I loved how they were in this one quite a bit. Because they're two of the best characters in the show, I think. And, and I, I, I'm glad they're kind of withholding it, though. I don't want them to give us away everything. I'll say about Eleven, I sure hope she's in this season a lot. I, I think she will be. But one thing that... I'm kind of worried about is that they're going to kind of pull like a Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars The Force Awakens. I was actually talking about this with someone the other day, one of my friends, and we were saying like, you know, we hope Eleven's in it a lot because we hope she doesn't just like show up in like the last two episodes and that's it. I mean, maybe she'll be awesome in those last two episodes, but we like I think a lot of people, including myself, want to see her throughout most of the whole show because she's like the coolest character. Also, spoiler if you haven't seen The Force Awakens, I should have said that before, but I think a lot of people have, so there, I, I, I spoiled the movie. But Luke Skywalker doesn't show up till the end, there's a Star Wars reference in this video. And they also released Stranger Things Season 1 on Blu-ray, and I, I'm i kind of not really for buying Netflix shows on like 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 home releases, because you can always just go to Netflix and rewatch them if you want to watch an episode. I've always been weird about that. but. Man, I have to say this Blu-ray tempted me just because of the way it was packaged. It looked like it was like in a VHS case and they 
maybe they even made it look all old and like 80s style and I, I really like that about it. The artwork was similar to what that um, season one poster is. It was a little different. It was still very cool and the box just looked cool. I almost bought a movie just because of the box but I, I will admit that's tempted me before in the past and it, 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 let me tell you some movie boxes are pretty awesome. This was no, no different. And another thing I want to mention about the Stranger Things marketing is all the tribute posters that have came out. Basically they're tributing all these classic movies with Stranger things characters in these posters like for example i shared one on facebook the other day that was like the goonies like style poster with all the stranger things characters and they have another one with jaws they have one for the evil dead and like lots of different movies it's really cool that they've done this and i, I just think it looks super cool i'd really like to get the goonies one because the goonies is one of my favorite movies and i think that influenced stranger things a lot but there's my rundown of what's happened with stranger things and my hopefully you kind of caught on to my excitement of season two i I cannot wait. I cannot believe it's only a week away. I can remember making the first video for this, uh, just talking about how excited I was. But And now we're almost here. But I hope you're all doing really well. And I hope you enjoy me talking about Stranger Things. I know I geek out a lot in these videos. I don't mean to, but I just love it a lot. I love talking about it. And thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're all doing well. And let's get ready for Stranger Things. We're one week away and it's going to be a fun time. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you later. Bye.